Hey guys, what's up? In Brazil this week, we are talking about transfers, wildcard tournament, Counter-Strike growing bigger than League of Legends, and, as always, the word of the week. Let's go! The end of the CBL final marks the beginning of another competition, the players transfers. ENTZ hit strong and quick with the announcement of the comeback of their prodigy son Revolta along with Loop. But if Revolta and Loop are playing for ENTZ, this means that uh, Alox and Jokster don't play for ENTZ anymore. And Alox is kicked out. But should we be worried about Alox? Maybe not. Because Alox always finds his way back to the CBLOL final. One year from now, Alox was kicked from CNIB right after the CBLOL final. And it was right after Revolta left as well. Alox had to play all the way down to the Challenger series with Big Goz before all the players left. Then he joined ENTZ Red and qualified with them for the CBLOL second split. Before Revolta once again, leaving ENTZ forced Jokster into the jungle and him into the first team. If today Revolta is once again responsible for changes, chances are that Alox will once again get the better of it. In the end, Alox played this season's finals while Revolta didn't. So watch out for what team Alox decides to go for because they most likely will be in the final of the next CB LOL. Unless they kick him before the final. But anyway, he will be in the final. You may kick Alox out of your team, but you can't kick Alox out of the CBL final. But this is not it because ENTZ also released Shakarez, their coach, from his position. Also, the professor, the support for Generation X, left the team. That's it for the transfers this week. Is Counter-Strike growing bigger than League of Legends? Last weekend we had the ESL1 Cologne at the same time as the EU LCS final. More than half a million viewers were watching the ESL1 semi-finals, while at the same time, around 300,000 were watching the final of the EU LCS. So did Counter-Strike grow bigger than League of Legends already? Well, maybe not quite yet. The ESL1 is a major which is kind of a world final for Counter-Strike, while the EU LCS is just a regional. Chances are that the League of Legends World semi-final will bring way more people than the 1.2 million viewers the ESL1 had. If you want to compare, last year the grand final of League of Legends World had around 10 million people watching. So 1.2 million against 10 million yeah, League of Legends is probably still bigger. But I don't know if we can really compare them. The League of Legends World Final is only once a year, so it's a big event that no one wants to miss. While the Counter-Strike Majors, there are plenty during the year. So yeah, there is a little advantage for League of Legends. This being said, even the NALCS, which happened after the ESL1, so there were no competition between the two of, the, of them. So the NALCS final never reached the 500,000 people on the mainstream, while the ESL final stream was way above the 500,000. So we know now that last weekend there were more people wanting to watch Counter-Strike than League of Legends. And this is new. And you know what is the good news? The good news is a Brazilian team is in the top 8. Luminosity, last weekend, made it to the quarterfinal. Sure, they lost in the quarterfinal, but it was against Fnatic that, after that, won the tournament. So if you are an eSports fan, you might want to follow this Luminosity team because they probably have a bright future ahead of them. This weekend, the wildcard tournament between Pain Gaming, KLG and Hard Random will begin. Each team will play against the others twice. And 
at the end of the weekend, we will know who are the two teams fighting in Santiago in Chile for the one single spot in Worlds. Let's continue our lessons on how to piss your teammates off in Brazil. The Brazilian solo queue is no exception to other regions because most of the players are whiny little children. Whenever something is not going their way, those whiny little childs won't hesitate a single second before blaming it on you or your teammates. And this is true for any league, from bronze to diamond. And we all hate whiny kids, so we try to piss them off as much as they annoy us. How? You can simply remind them how childish they are by typing in the chat me 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 is that stupid noise that spoiled babies do when they don't get what they want and trust me childs will get mad if you call them me 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 but careful because this might very well trigger a few rage quits but that's what the reports are made for right me 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 is the word of the week Once again, thank you for watching and see you guys next week.